guys, it's Dave for Yarn, and today I'm going to show you how to make a flat panel on your Addy Express knitting machine. Now, this tutorial will work for the Addy Professional and the big Addy King also, so um, it, it works either ways. I'm using the little Addy today, the little Addy Professional 22 needle, and a flat panel is a piece of knitting that is not tubular it's a fl it's a flat piece and the adding machine does flat panels and it also does tubes so instead of doing a tube today i'm working a flat panel and this little switch right here on the side this red switch is set to plain knitting the other one says circular knitting so i don't want circular knitting because that would make a tube so I'm using the plain knitting setting and I have my needle situated so that the very first white needle, there's one, two, three black needles, the very first white needle is up and in front of me. So I'm going to take the end of my yarn, I'm going to leave about six inches or so, and I'm going to um, hook that yarn in, into that first white needle and I'm going to let the tail drop because I don't need that. Now I'm going to turn the handle away from me, bring the yarn behind the second needle. And then I'm gonna bring the yarn in front of the third needle, behind the next one, in front of the next one, behind the next one, in front of the next one, behind the next one, all the way to the last white needle. And you'll notice that the last white needle hooks the yarn. So I'm going to bring my wheel forward just more enough that it catches on the first black needle. And then I'm going to put my yarn into the yarn guide. And I'm going to let that black needle push the yarn below this red tab. And then I'm going to clear my row counter till it goes to zero. And then I'm going to go back the other way. And you want to make sure that this very first white stitch, you want to make sure that the previous yarn is in front of it, flat up against this red thing right here and that your, the yarn that's going back the other way is looped around this red tab before you make the stitch. And now I'm turning the, the wheel in a counterclockwise direction, which would be towards me. So as you can see, that first needle hooked the yarn and brought it down below this strand right here that was in front of the needle before. And I'm going to keep turning towards me until I get back to the other side. And I'm going to make sure that my very last stitch is pushed down so that the yarn is down on the bed of the machine. I'm going to let the last white needle hook that yarn and the first black needle, and I'm gonna let that black needle bring the yarn down below the red tab. And then I'm going to turn and go back the other way. I wanna make sure that that yarn is being hooked by the red tab. And I'm going to bring it down. Now, you also wanna give a little bit of a tug on the yarn when you do that very first stitch because if you don't then you'll get a very messy looking edge. So I'm going to keep going back this way again. I'm turning the needle away from me. And when we get to this very end edge stitch, you want to make sure that the stitch on that needle drops down. Because if it doesn't then you'll get um, you won't knit that stitch. You'll still hold this stitch on, but you'll have another loop of yarn around your needle, and you really don't want that. That's a bad thing. So you want to make sure that it's down at the bottom of your needle. So I'm going to go this way. I want to give a tug on the edge stitch. 
And I'm going to go all the way back around to the next edge stitch. Make sure it's pushed down. Knit it. And then I'm going to come back this way. Give it a tug. And go back the other way. This one's stuck, so you gotta push it down with your finger and make sure that it comes the yarn comes below the red tab before you turn. Give it a tug. And that one's stuck too. This is a very simple process. You just have to know the little tricks that make it look nice. Now, I don't have my machine clamped to my table here, so it is sliding a little bit, but I put a little bit of pressure on the machine with my thumb to hold it down a little bit while I tension the yarn, and that seems to work pretty well, but usually you would want to clamp it to the table, but I chose not to because then it's hard, a lot harder to film for me if it's on the edge of the table. But that is how that you make a flat panel on your Addy machine. And when you are finished and it's as long as you want it to be, um, you want to remember that when you measure it, you cannot measure like this and get an exact accurate um, measurement. Because it's stretched so much to get around these needles that it shrinks lengthwise. So you can really only measure it accurately when it's off the machine. But what I like to do is I like to take this whole piece and when I'm finished remove my yarn. I want to like I would make this a little bit longer than what I need my finished piece to be. At least the length of my finished piece plus extra just to be sure and then I'm going to knit across the row with no yarn and then I'm going to go back the other way and do it again and as you can see all the stitches pop off the needle and when you stretch this lengthwise it gets longer because it was stretched so much widthwise that it was shrinking lengthwise. So then I would measure this and however the length however long the length was, I would unravel the last couple rows or however many I needed to until I had the right length. And then you take your little red yarn needle, cut your yarn and thread it through all the stitches to make your bind off edge. And that is how I generally make flat panels the size that I want them to be.